Pythagoras was a great philosopher and mathematician who lived in Greece in the 6th century before Christ. He is best known for his theorem on right triangles. The theorem states that the addition of the squares of both sides of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. This means that the sum of the surfaces or areas of the purple squares equals the area or surface of the blue square. Let's prove it's true. Let's surround each part with a white square and check their equal. Let's now fill the white parts with four equal yellow red triangles placed in a different way. The yellow parts are equal. If the yellow parts are equal and the white squares too, the blue area must be equal to the addition of areas of the purple squares. This equality of areas is the first use of Pythagoras' theorem. The second use is calculating the length of the hypotenuse knowing the length of the other two sides. It is also expressed like this. The first use was known in India over 200 years before Pythagoras was born. And the second use was known in Babylonia in the year 1800 before Christ, over a thousand years before Pythagoras. So the theorem was not discovered by Pythagoras. But how is this theorem related to the golden ratio pi? Using the theorem, we can prove that there is a right triangle family related with phi, the hermetic triangle family. These are right triangles whose longer side is twice the short side. In these cases, it will let the hypotenuse fall to horizontal, right by the short side, the proportion between the resulting segment and the long side is the golden ratio. With this element, it's very easy to build a golden rectangle without having any knowledge about the existence of number 5. It's enough to know a number and its half, draw a right triangle, and drop the hypotenuse horizontal right by the short side. Number 5 shows up. In 2013, Mario Toboso and I found this group of right triangles. We named them Hermetic Triangles. We have not found any prior reference to this complete triangle family, nor to the fact that they hide the golden ratio. It's the magic of number five.